Every day brings a change, and this whole world puts on a new face. Dun, dun, dun. Sudden things rearrange, and this whole world seems like a new place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Secretly, I've been telling you Like a fox that preys on rabbit Had to get you and so I knew I had to learn your ways and habits Ooh, ooh, ooh. You were the cash that I was after but I looked up and I was in your arms And I knew that I had captured What's this whole world coming to? Things just ain't the same Anytime the hunter gets captured by the game do, 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 do. Y'all remember that? I had to lay such a tender trap Hoping you might fall into it Love hit me like a sudden slap One kiss, then I knew it Ooh, my plans didn't work out like I thought Cause I looked up and I was in your arm And I knew that I had been caught Okay, that's enough. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope I ain't see too much. Oh, because they go demonetize the video. I get carried away sometimes. Y'all know how I do. But good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome to the mental house. And, um, <laughs> wow. You know, what goes around comes around. And the browning of America is really causing the, the uproar. Um, but it's just going to happen. It can't be stopped. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last, and you can't forget it. So it's really interesting to me how a Minneapolis, shout out to lovely T in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, uh, teachers uh, union, and also my brother Jamil, shout out to you, <laughs> if you're listening. Um, and all the uh, good folks of Minneapolis. Anyway, the teachers union plan to lay off white teachers ahead of people of color is illegal and unconstitutional, lawyers have warned. Lawyer Kimberly Herman told Fox News the Supreme Court has been crystal clear and the contract is unconstitutional and embroils the country deeper into racism. She said, the contract between Minneapolis School Public Schools and the local teachers union, aka K-12 cartel, is unconstitutional, illegal, and sets our country back for decades in race relations. Okay, this is one side of the coin. You know, there's two sides to every story. And sometimes three. Herman spoke in the wake of Minneapolis school decision to defend contract that promotes laying off white educators ahead of others to reverse prior racism. See, because you guys don't, it doesn't matter to you that you have 70% of the jobs and we only got 30% of the pie. That's not a problem to you. But what's a problem is that when they try to even that stuff out, you feel like you've been mistreated. Your privilege have allowed you to uh, be afforded 
all these damn perks that are totally unreasonable to a civilized society. But when you're dealing with racism and hatred and when you got a country that's founded and based in it, like I said, you hurt the people that look like you more so than you hurt the ones that have to make the, um, that, that on the other side of the coin. And that's really sad. The school district said earlier this week, the new contract is being used to remedy continuing effects of past discrimination. Another lawyer named Helen Rella agreed, saying two wrongs don't make a right. If that phase applied to any situation, it applied here, she told the on outlet. It's trying to remedy the past discrimination with present discrimination, and it's inappropriate. Rella also said it violated the Title um, Civil Rights Act and that the contract has preemptive harm and teachers are losing their jobs and reasons that are dis for reasons that are discriminatory. It's unfortunate that we're in a situation where it takes it to this extreme and there doesn't seem to be any reluctance in discriminating against people, she said. Probably not if they're, um, you know, the people that have been dominant for so long. And I understand. I understand both sides of the coin. The fact that a matter, you don't feel like, these people don't feel like they've been privileged. And because they don't know history and because the founding fathers didn't do a good job of after you set this place up to allow white people to understand that slavery and racism and Jim Crow and all that is going to affect you as well as it affect us, there is no way in the world they can have this reality because the way it stands right now, right supremacy is working just as it's supposed to. If you go to the, any public school, any public school, and you are um, not feeling that you are superior to someone, you and if you're white, you don't feel, well, then something has happened wrong in your education. Because this whole society was geared for you to feel better than somebody. And that's the way they set up. And then when the reality comes that you really ain't, it's a hard pill to swallow. It really is. It's the cognitive dissonance. It's too much. Minneapolis Public Schools and the Minneapolis Federation of Teachers, that's the MFT, mutually agreed to contract language that aims to support the recruitment of reten and retention of teachers from unrepresented groups as compared to the labor market and to the community served by the school district, it said in a statement. The agreement was reached in the spring of 2022 after a two-week teacher strike and was spearheaded by the Minneapolis Federation of Teachers of President Greta Callahan. Many have called the deal unconstitutional and accused it of addressing uh, past racism with more racism. You know, y'all going to have to give it up. And this, this is going to be the hardest thing because nobody wants a bunch of white teachers. I mean, you have to have an, a balance. And there has never been a balance. And although I know that you guys are the majority of the population, you have to do something to get these numbers down. Like I said, and if you can't handle this, we have to do a better way of, of getting to people's heart and their intelligence and to let them know this is how it's going to be because these are the facts. Somehow we have to do a better job of that. In my opinion, otherwise you're driving people crazy. You cause them to rebel to the highest level. Um. Anyway, the prioritizing of teachers of color over senior educators may also apply to rehiring after after the layoff. The move was met with swift backlash. 
with an economics professor branding it racism in action. Um, when you're on the receiving end of racism, it's 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 really um, you know kind of amazing to me how the dominant groups feel when they have to wear the shoes. Is is really something because they can't handle it. When it comes to termination, an employer can't racially discriminate even against whites, Beta wrote. The Third Circuit Court of Appeals ruled in 1996 that a school district can't consider race even as a tiebreaker in deciding with who to lay off, even to promote diversity. Mm. That's what you say. Anyway, what do y'all think about that? Uh, because the teachers strike now in Minneapolis was for the students. And that was back in March. And so now this is where we at with that. It's really interesting, y'all. Because the browning of America, again, is going to... It's just going to it's going to disrupt this place, y'all. Y'all think Corona disrupted this? <laughs> anyway, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video. What's your take on it? I'd really like to know. <laughs>